Today I'm going to be talking about the life of a Nigerian in Nairobi. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is about work. For a Nigerian to come to Kenya to work, it's not something easy. For you going from your country to another country is not something so easy. So, especially for a Nigerian. So if you're a Nigerian and you're watching this video and you're like asking yourself, if I'm coming to Kenya, am I going to get work? Am I going to get this or that? So I'm going to answer your question right now. So if you're in Nigeria and you're coming to Kenya, it's not easy for you to get a job or to get a work. The best thing is for you to get, come to Kenya, get your working permit and start your own business. That is the only way you can be able to work. Or you're working in a company in Nigeria and you are transferred to Kenya. That's another opportunity you can be able to work in Kenya. Or I don't say if you come to Kenya, you won't see any job. If you are so lucky, you can get a job in Nairobi, Kenya, or any other county in Kenya. But with what I have seen, I see that it's not easy to get a job as a Nigeria in Kenya. And the best way is to get your working permit, start your own business, and that's it. Please, before I continue with this video, if you know that what I'm saying is not correct or I'm making a mistake, Please kindly correct me in the comment section and let's interact and talk. Thank you. So the second one I'm going to talk about is the cost of living in Kenya. For a Nigerian coming to Kenya to live is not easy. And even for any other foreigner who is from another African country or even from any other continent is coming to live in Kenya is not easy. So for me to combine, for me to compare Kenya and Nigeria is a very big difference. Because I see that the cost of living in Nairobi, Kenya is more and more higher than that of Lagos. I don't really s live in Lagos because I, because I live in another um, state in Nigeria. But I do travel to Lagos. So with the time, time I, at the time I've spent in Lagos I've, and the time I've also spent in Nairobi, I see that um, Nairobi, Kenya is much more higher than that of um, Lagos, which is in Nigeria. So, talking about um, the cost of living, let's start from housing. So, talking about um, housing in Kenya, we pay rent for house per month in Kenya. And in Nigeria, we pay housing per year. So, it's not easy to pay your house rent every month, but it's like it's very easy for you to, to gather money together and pay your house rent per year in Nigeria. You can also pay two years rent or three years. It also depends. On. So, talking about the housing, we pay per month here in Nairobi. So, it also depends on where you are getting your house. You see that you are getting it around the Nairobi CBD or you are getting it far away. If you are getting your house far away from Nairobi CBD, it's a little bit not... It's not so expensive like that. And it's also very expensive if you are getting your house close to the CBD. And it also depends on the area where you are getting... where you are going to get your house and also depend on the type of house you are looking for it's either a two bedroom one bedroom or a bed sitter so that is all about housing so talking about um, food in um, uh, compared to nigeria um if you are in nigerian and you are coming to kenya to live for me i i really love nigerian food and i eat nigerian food in kenya so if you thought of like you are in Nigeria and you are coming to stay or you are coming to live in um, Kenya and you would like to be eating Nigerian food all the time, bro, sis, it's going to be very, very expensive because for you to get Nigerian food, you can get, there are places you can get Nigerian food, but they are so expensive. So for you to get Nigerian food in Kenya, they are so expensive and you can get all Nigerian food in Kenya. And if you want to try the other way of like you want to import or you want to like 
send uh, you want one of your relative or one of your friend to put something in the box and send it to you from Nigeria to Kenya that's another money but if you like to eat Nigerian food all the time it will be so 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 much expensive so guys talking about the daily life in Nairobi um, time is time goes so fast in Nairobi everybody is moving here and there and all that other stuff so if you want to go from one place to another you have to use a means of transportation in Nigeria we in, in Nigeria we have different means of transportation and in Kenya we have different types of transportation in Kenya we have the minibus which is Matatu and in Lagos they have BRT um, I don't I don't really know much about the BRT but in Kenya I really know much about the Matatu Matatu is a minibus is a uh, means of transportation it's a bus that takes you from one location to another and it is one of the cheapest cheapest means of transportation in Nairobi Kenya and every other part of Kenya so this bus is so interesting inside this bus you the, there's music there's TV there's loudspeaker there are comfortable seats and other things like that so it's also the cheapest means of transportation in Kenya we also have the border border which is in Nigeria we call it Okada and we have um, Uber or boat so anyone you wish to go for that is the means of transportation talking about the weather Nairobi is located in the eastern part of Africa while Nigeria is located in the western part of Africa so as a Nigerian if you are coming to live or to have an holiday in Nairobi Kenya or any other part of Kenya the type of clothes you are going to choose you are going to because Nairobi is so cold and Nigeria is so hot so if you are coming to Nairobi make sure you take your jacket your sweaters your shoes sometimes it can be a little bit hot but mostly all the time in Nairobi it's so cold so about the weather it's so cold in Nairobi so make sure you know the types of clothes you are going to choose when coming to Nairobi Kenya so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the traffic which is the traffic jam you can compare Nairobi traffic jam to that of Lagos traffic jam but they have made it so easy that they have made an, an um, Nairobi Expressway that if you are going to the airport, if you pass the, the Nairobi Expressway, it won't take you a lot of time before you get there. As you can see from my back, that is the Nairobi Expressway in my back. If you are to use the Nairobi Expressway, it's not so, so very expensive. You just pay a little amount of money to pass through the road. And the road is not free. There's no traffic jam. So that is another way the government of Kenya has as being able to control the traffic jam in Nairobi. So you can't compare Nairobi traffic jam to that of Lagos traffic jam because Nairobi, you have to be time conscious. If you are going to somewhere by at like, like 2 o'clock p.m., you have to be ready at 11, at least 12, because you have to be on your way by 12 because you don't know if there will be a lot of traffic on the road or there will be something, so you have to make sure you are time conscious. So if you are thinking of if you're in Nigeria and you're thinking of if I'm coming to Kenya, maybe there won't be any park. There are a lot of parks and there are a lot of restaurants, a lot of malls, a lot of places you can visit in Nairobi. So there are a lot of places. Nairobi is also one of the country that has a national park around the city. So you can see different types of animal, lion, buffalo, different kind of animal in the Nairobi National Park. And you are going to love it so, so much. So. Also, I forgot to tell you about the internet and the power. In Nairobi, we have power 24-7. The power is stable and there, there is no like the power is going on and off. If the power wants to go off, we call them Kenya Power. Kenya Power is going to inform you that we are going to take power in this particular area for this particular hours or minutes. So for power, you don't have a problem. The only problem you have with power is when you don't pay money for power. So talking about internet, you can get different kinds of internet like Zuku, Safaricom, and Fiber. It also depends on the kind of money you pay and the types of money and the kind of money you pay. If you pay small amount of money, you are not going to get a very fast internet. If you pay a little bit higher money, you are going to get fast internet. So. I think I've mentioned some part of what you need to know 
about Nairobi. And also, please, if you love this video, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, please share it to your families and friends. Let's get to a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the help. Thank you for the six hundred subscriber, four hundred more subscribers to go. So thank you guys for watching, and also stay safe. And I'll see you in my next video. A peace. I love you.